Good morning, everyone. So the gospel today is all about, actually is addressed to the elders uh, of the, the leadership of ancient Israelites. They had been unfaithful to God. And so God tried again and again to convert them and bring them into his ways and to bring them to actually do what is truly right and just. And instead, every person they sent, every person God sent to them, all the prophets, all the, the people who were trying to help them to be better, they were either mocked or harmed or put to death. And so eventually God gets to a point and he gives them a lot of chances. He finally sends his only son and he's like, okay, cool, maybe they'll convert with this. No, nope. even the vineyards, uh, the landlord's son is put to death. And God tries that with us too. Under the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, all of this is going on. This is what this parable is referencing, is the Old Covenant. And so there was a definite end. God's like, all right, this is not working, so we need something new. So Jesus Christ is the one that ushers in that new covenant. The sun, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Jesus Christ is the cornerstone. He is the, the stone that the old covenant rejected. And so imagine then that you're a landlord today here in the United States and rent is due, but you're out of town. So you send a friend to go and collect from your tenants. And instead of getting their payments, your friend gets a beating. Most people would not do what the landlord in today's parable did. They would not send another and another and another just to have them beaten, maimed, killed. You would not send your son on the off chance that he'd be killed too. No, if we were landlords, we'd likely be calling the cops and have the tenants put in jail the moment they laid hands on the first guy. Because we are people of the New Testament, though, this is not how God interacts with us. He does not immediately send us to jail. He does not immediately say, all right, well, you're going straight to hell for that one time you messed up. You, you maybe, like, said a cuss word once when you were, like, five. It's not how it works. In the New Testament, in the New Covenant with God, there is mercy upon mercy. There is chance upon chance upon chance. There is second chance, third chance, fourth chance, all the way to the infinite chance. God gives us more opportunities than we deserve because Christ has become that cornerstone, because we live in the New Testament time, in the new covenant with God. And so unlike how he dealt with the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, there's always another chance for us. There's always a chance to turn back to him, to do right, to do good. Don't squander it. My brothers and sisters, every day, every moment of our lives is another opportunity to turn towards God, the creator of all. Let's not waste today, because today is always another chance.